I guess I'm just gonna say right off, uh, Chuck Berry's 28 greatest hits. Great 28, I think that's what that's called. Uh, Iron Maiden's first record. Uh, Strangers in the Night, UFO, of course. Um, ZZ Top, Fandango. And uh, Deep Purple, Burn. Black Sabbath, like the first five Black Sabbath records. I can't even name a certain one of those. Uh, Judas Priest Unleashed in the East. Uh, God. Help me out, Doug. <laughs> I just got like one of those iPod shuffles for Christmas. My wife got me, so I, I just flooded it. ACDC Highway to Hell. Uh, Frank Marino Live, 1978. Uh, one more. <laughs> um, ACDC Powerage, I must say. Great record. Uh, I'm, I'm saying those because that's what we listen to on the way up here, isn't it? God, oh man, I got, you know, Aerosmith, Toys in the Attic, uh, Rocks, uh, I love that Chester and Lester, that last record, that last record they did together, I think it, I want to say it was in the 90s, uh, I was watching that Les Paul video where, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Tommy uh, Manuel, I think that's his name. He comes out, you know, and just does his thing, which is awesome. And Les Paul's like 90 or 91, and he's like, yeah, you would have to come at me when I'm 90. You couldn't have came at me 20 years ago. Yeah, I thought, just thought that was the coolest, you know, coolest thing. I mean, I would definitely have to say Les Paul is the greatest guitar player ever because uh, what an innovator on every level. My, my whole, you know, and that comes from him. That, that's what made me want to pick guitar up with. You know, that whole, that whole vibe, you know? Uh, and, the, and not to mention, a lot of people don't know you know, the whole multi-tracking and, and things that, that that guy created, you know, uh, and, and incredible. So that's usually the first word that comes out of my mouth of great guitar players. We're going back to influences from records, but I can't help it. <laughs> 